with the One Piece live action coming out in a couple of days. It seems like we learned how much Netflix spent on each episode of the live action. And let me tell you, it's a lot. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's talk about One Piece. So, it seems that the budget for the One Piece live action is about $17 million. That's a lot of money. Considering if you compare it to something like Game of Thrones, which a lot of people are doing right now, because Game of Thrones is another big budget TV show, which got about $90 million for season 8, which equates to about $15 million per episode. So... One Piece, technically, well, not technically, yeah, it does have a bigger budget per episode than Game of Thrones, which is a big deal because this is only season one, right? Season one is usually like the user test case where like a company kind of, you know, throws season one out, see how the audience is going to react, and then they decide to move forward with season two, three, so on and so on. So having this big of a budget, it seems like Netflix does have a lot of confidence in the One Piece live action. But on top of that, we also have gotten statements from Oda saying that, you know, Netflix won't release the live action until, you know, he's happy with it, until, you know, everything is good as he wants it. But of course, all that can be kind of, you know, shocked down to just marketing talk, right? Like if the live action is not good, I don't think Oda was going to come out and say, oh, the live action is not good don't watch it, right? Like, that's not how the business and entertainment industry works. Even if it's the worst live action ever, you're not gonna hear the creator actually bash it or anything like that. He might be, like, you know, radio silent. He might not talk about it. But, you know, Oda did say in a public statement that Netflix did promise they were not going to release it until he thought it was a good product. And here we are, right? And a $17 million budget per episode definitely does seem like it's a good budget to have a good product. Now we just got to wait a couple of days and actually see how good it's going to be. Now, where does this budget actually go, right? Where is the $17 million being allocated to? We don't have a breakdown. Again, these numbers were released by a German Netflix uh, website. I don't speak German. I don't know if this is actually legit, but the numbers does seem a little believable. We just got to wait and see if it's actually true. I don't think Netflix officially releases these numbers, so that's why I'm a little skeptical. But regardless, you know, it will be a little fun video to talk about the budget and how it can actually enhance the live action. Now, of course, they got to pay the actors and all that stuff, but since the actors are not widely known, I don't think the, the greater part of the budget is going to that, right? Like maybe in season two, three, four, five, if we get that far along, yeah, then the actors would definitely be getting a way bigger payout. But as of right now, I don't think they're getting paid that much. Definitely, you know, a lot of money, but uh, not that much where, you know, it's like a million dollar per episode or something crazy like that, right? Uh, then on top of that, definitely the CGI, I think is going to be the biggest spender here. Maybe the marketing is also included in that budget, which of course is probably going to be a big spender as well. And the CGI, right off the bat, there are a couple of scenes where I actually am excited to see because if the CGI turns out to be like the, the you know, some, not that good, it could definitely kill the vibe of the live action right like just imagine the sea kings which we did get a sneak peek in the uh, trailer which it looked good but i don't think i would put it at the same level of like a game of thrones uh dragon so you know uh, I, I, that's why i'm again a skeptical with the little budget issue right but of course the one piece live action as well definitely does need more cgi than your typical game of thrones episode because i mean just luffy alone every time he fights it's gonna be absolutely wild with his fruit and stuff like that so that's something that game of thrones didn't have to worry about right because yeah all the other characters they were kind of like you know really realistic characters they weren't throwing powers in every single fight which here in one piece every single fight there's going to be some sort of supernatural abilities which of course is going to have to be done we see gi luffy is going to be at the top of that then of course you know sanji uh probably gonna be doing something crazy with his legs if i don't think they do that in season one but you know that's later in the future uh zoro again with some of his abilities it's gonna look absolutely insane right but some of the best scenes that i'm looking forward to is definitely shanks and the sea king can't wait to see how that's going to be uh cgi'd in i can't wait to see uh, Mayhawk when he shows up and cuts that ship in half it's gonna be absolutely crazy especially if the CGI is done very well because the amount of destruction that happened there yeah I can't wait to see that and then of course the big fight between Luffy and Arlong that's gonna be great as well because again the amount of destruction that happened there all these crazy abilities that were shown you know, if it's done right, it's going to look great. And I'm excited for that. And then also, maybe this is where the season is going to end. 
that would be amazing as well if it actually ends here is when they actually cross over to the Grand Line going up through Reverse Mountain. I mean, just think about that whole sequence, how crazy it's going to look if we actually get to see it in season one. I feel like that would be a great stopping point, right? Because that's where really the adventure of One Piece actually begins. So that would be like a great stopping point and maybe we'll get a season two announcement. But as the seasons go on and on and on, we get introduced to more Devil Fruit users. It's going to get absolutely wild. I mean, just imagine imagine ace in live action with his devil fruit it's gonna be crazy how did you even you know do that how did you even cgi that it's gonna be the budget is gonna be absolutely crazy if you actually want it to look good i mean just imagine some of the biggest moments biggest fights in one piece right just imagine crocodile how are you going to animate that sand to look realistic and not like some cgi where it came out of a ps3 game right so definitely uh, something to talk about in the future i'm definitely going to be reviewing the one piece live action when it comes out on the 31st i don't know if it's gonna come out at midnight or 3 a.m eastern time but you know i'm gonna be ready for it i might get my wife to react with me to the first episode if she's up for it she absolutely has no idea what one piece is or i mean she knows like one piece because i've talked about it before but she hasn't really seen any episode or read the manga or stuff like that her anime viewing is very limited maybe like 10 anime uh, but yeah i might i might try to convince her to do that we'll see if she's up for it but i'm definitely going to be reviewing the uh, uh live action when it comes out but let me know in the comments do you believe this budget to actually be true 17 million crazy let me know in the comments down below are you excited for the one piece live action and like always make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode peace out oh.